and this is the continuation of the previous video. This is the continuation from the previous video. I try to make it very short so that you know you will understand the step by step that goes about it. So now, are you seeing this? This is the heater unit. So you have to remove the heater unit. That is where the problem comes from. Now let me explain something again. Look at this paper. This particular line you are seeing is being caused by the heater roller. Okay. Okay, this thing is being caused by the heater roller, this line. So if the heater roller has been used for a very long time, you will have this. Another thing that equally causes this is so you can actually reduce the effect of this. This line normally appears most times when you are trying to feed in a document, when you are trying to photocopy a document that is fed through the ADF. And after feeding through the ADF, you want to, and you are increasing, and you increase, uh, let's say, the brightness to add more, more toner to the, to the documents. That also normally makes this thing to appear sometimes. But uh, when you see this thing, it means that the, the, the drum, the heater drum is beginning to is beginning to, to to get older okay but you can manage it if you start seeing it if you, you can start you can manage it by you know photocopying or feeding documents through the adf and then not as in kind of how do i put it now one thing says that you can actually manage it by not increasing the contrast sorry the brightness Kind of okay, not, not reducing the brightness, yes, not reducing the brightness of the document that is fed in through the ADF. That's how to manage it. But to get to a point that even if you don't reduce it, you still see this thing that means that the heater, um, the heater, um, the heater drummer's unit is already is getting really, really unmanageable. So, and then the other problem I told you about was the writing. The writing, the writing on uh, on the pages of this document. So nothing I equally cause this is when the heater um, drum has started peeling. Yes, when the heater drum has started peeling, you know this you start seeing this writing. Okay, then the stocking of I'm going to show you the heater drum when I bring it out. But I just have to split you first. Then the stocking of the document, the continual document jam after phase after one document comes out the next one jump after the next one comes out the next after the other one comes out the next one jump uh, always causing document jump and continually is caused still by the data unit and when that jump i told that when that jump occurs you discover that the paper do get stopped or do be stuck at the drum unit if that normally gets stuck at the drum it doesn't it doesn't come out of the drum unit so i'm going to show you where it comes from so let, let us go into the machine and do the work all right, so you see the screw here, you lose it out. You lose the screw out. If you can see that, lose it out. There's another screw down inside here, so you lose it out as well. Put in your star, use star head, your star with your star head screwdriver, and you lose that out as well. The audio, we are going deeper and deeper. So you Close that out and you bring it out. Bring out the screw. Are you seeing it now? Okay, this is the first one, the second one. Okay. So let's place them where they are removed. Then you are you have you seen this? Have you seen this? You're gonna pull it out. Okay. You pull it out this way, you drag it up. So you pull it out this way, you drag it up. Are you seeing now? It comes out. Okay. So that's it. Then this other section, you are going to remove it also. Okay. You this section you're gonna you're gonna you know lift it up. You pull this in, okay? You push it in, then you lift it up. You see now? You push it in. You push it in. Use your hand, push it in, and then push it out this way. Kind of push it in, then out this way. Then you come out. I said it. You push it in this way. Once you push in in like this. And then when you push in, you know, bring it out this way, bring it out this way, and it comes out. So that's it. So you see this, these two wire, disconnect it. Disconnect these two screws here. Okay, are you seeing it? Are you seeing these two wires as well? 
you disconnect them disconnect them disconnect this keyboard if you are seeing this keyboard just be careful see now remove it it's just like a socket it's like a socket so you just wrap it up a bit of it and the thing will automatically come out okay so that's it so when you are done removing that you now bring out this is the paper you need you bring it out like this and you see it now can you see the full picture of this okay so this is the complete guitar unit so like i told you that line used to see that vertical this vertical tip line is being caused most times by this um this is the guitar drum i told you about are you seeing this one are you seeing this thing this is the guitar drum okay and this other one is what normally calls this line. Okay. This is what normally calls the line. When it is getting older, you start causing this line. But like I told you, you can manage it by... Uh, because I like I told you, this thing will always occur. Mostly occur when you... When you are feeding a document to the ADF. And you... And you reduce the brightness of the, the copy of the document you produce. You will see this but if you allow the brightness to be at default you might not see this but like i said at some point when this particular stuff is completely old you will start seeing this line consistently so it's such a case that would tell that you have to replace this thing okay you have to replace this thing okay so this is the heater the heater drum i told you about and this one normally calls, when this one starts peeling, you start seeing this writing. You write on the document again. Writing on the text that was in this page on the paper. Like I told you, in some cases, it's more, more obvious than this. It's just a mild 